I believe we all know his whistle. But, is it possible to hear it again? In our modern day, Join me as I explain how a restoration of 1218 is possible in our modern day, and how it would change the face of railroad preservation forever. As I've covered before in two other A-Class videos, 1218 had an excursion career between 1987 and 1991. His first revival, done by the Norfolk Southern Steam Program, under the watch of the railway itself, was seen as done correctly. However, this was not the case. Although they had made it possible for the locomotive to operate under the standards of the National Railroad Historical Society, some of the standards for a full restoration were passed. This led to flaws during running, and even being moved from its restoration home to Roanoke. Eventually, the Norfolk Southern ended their steam program, and 1218 was left, partially rebuilt in East End. But we know that story. What we're interested in is if it's possible for a second revival of our beloved A-Class. And to that question, I say yes. It is possible, but not in the way you think. Let me explain. A lot of people don't believe it's possible, either due to 1218's size or the missing parts that are required. However, I see it as an opportunity to start fresh. To give the locomotive fresh parts and a better chance of not breaking down during running or storage. But, that is also the major issue at play. With Norfolk Southern leaving him dismantled and losing the parts in transit, it proves an issue of reforging the parts required. I'm not completely correct on the amount of parts required of a reforge, but I do have a list of what needs to be replaced as he stands now. In his current state, 1218 requires these necessary parts to be refurbished, at least enough to be moved to a larger facility for a full overhaul. These parts include brand new frontal coupler and tender coupler, at least an inspection of the wheels and axles, either oiling of the driving rods or removal entirely for the move. And that's just a start. Once he has arrived at the overhaul location, may that be Silva's shops, East End if Norfolk Southern agrees to it, or the North Carolina Transportation Museum, located in Salisbury, North Carolina, he will need these major things knocked out first. Remember, some of this is not required, but following the guidelines of the Norfolk and Western itself about this class, I would recommend them. These issues include a full overhaul of the boiler itself, what I call a re-rolling of the boiler, new LED headlight, new bell, and a possible reforge of the 12-inch hooter whistle itself, an overhaul of the tender, possible installation of PTC and cab signaling. With the major issues out of the way or being worked on, the internals can be forged and be prepared for installation once the overhaul of the boiler is complete. Sadly, I do not know what parts are currently missing from the locomotive. But even then, the parts that are currently there need replacement, as some of them are as old as 1218 himself. In my eyes, I see a full overhaul possible. With the restoration playing out like either 611s, or it becomes a 55-50 incident. Running on donations. I see the overhaul taking around the same time as 5550, possibly shorter. Around 5 to 7 years, if all I stated beforehand is done, and done correctly. Do you all agree? Let me know below in the comments. And as always, I thank you for watching and bearing with me with these short videos, as my attention is on producing the Root of Legends. Until next time.